they played five times, and, and you know Alabama had the 28-21 win in, in 99. They had played earlier in the year in 99 in the Swamp in Gainesville, and Alabama had won in overtime in one of the really classic 40-39 shootout games. We knew going into 99 that we had a, a good core of the team coming back. Um, we didn't know how good we were going to be, but we knew the potential that we had. Sort of the game that salvaged Alabama's season in Gainesville, Florida had a long winning streak. They ranked in the top five, and for Alabama to go out in there and, and win and, and score 40 points and win in overtime when they, when they miss an extra point and Florida's offside, so Alabama gets to kick the extra point again to win the game. This is Steve Spurrier. He, he might lose a game, but you're not going to beat him twice in the same year. No way, not the great Steve Spurrier. But me personally, I'm like, well, let's just see. Came, came to Atlanta for the championship game, and I think Florida, I think Coach Spurrier had gotten disgruntled with his quarterback situation and, and was changing quarterbacks and wasn't happy with, with things. So Alabama jumped ahead early. Freddie Millen's lining up in what we would call today the Wildcat formation that's so famous in the NFL, just, just wide receiver under center and taking the snap. And it was a, a, a called run. And uh, I got the ball and I went left and it was nothing there. It was nothing there. And like in a split second, I had reverse field. And uh, I just started running. And everything just went silent. I mean, it was, it was just silent in the, in the dome. And then all of a sudden, I just heard everything. And uh, the place was going wild. Uh, it wasn't, the game wasn't over with. But if you've ever played in any type of uh, competition, you know when you've defeated your opponent. Alabama just dominated from there, Florida, not able to get anything done offensively. We had like a small window to actually celebrate because the crowd went crazy again. And what happened, our defensive end tipped the ball and intercepted it. And he took it to the house. And so it kind of, not saying it took away from me, but it kind of shifted the attention from what the offense have just done. Now the defense have just scored, and now it was, a, it, was a, it was an entire team celebration going on, along with the thousands of, fa of fans that Alabama brought with them. Okay, game, set, match. And an Alabama team that, that um, 99 team, a team with great potential and, and you know, had, had lost to Louisiana Tech inexplicably earlier in the year, had not performed well against uh, Tennessee and had lost at home, but a team that when they were good, they were very, very good. And, and on that day, probably their best day in the Georgia Dome won the SEC championship and went on to the Orange Bowl. We, we were pretty... Uh, pumped about it because Florida is Florida. This is this is Steve Spurrier in his prime. This is the 90s, end of the 90s, and uh, we did it. We went down there and we beat them.